Newsreel, real news, real quick. Fulton County, Georgia, District Attorney Fannie Willis pledged on Tuesday during a court argument that she is making several imminent decisions over whether to bring criminal charges against former President Donald Trump and his political allies for their alleged actions in Georgia following the 2020 presidential election. Willis wants to keep a special grand jury's report confidential. President Biden's press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, criticized House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's decision to remove Democrats Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell from the House Intelligence Committee and his threats to remove Congresswoman Ilhan Omar from the House Foreign Affairs Committee for comments that she made about Israel. The press secretary said McCarthy is doing Donald Trump's bidding. Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton said after a briefing with Dem D Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines that he will slow down confirmation of all of President Joe Biden's nominees until the administration allows Congress to review all classified documents found at the residences of Biden and former President Donald Trump. U.S. economic growth cooled slightly to a 2.9% annual rate in the fourth quarter, capping a year of high inflation and rising interest rates. Speaker Kevin McCarthy briefly addressed the issues surrounding embattled New York Congressman George Santos during a closed-door meeting at the House Republican Conference on Wednesday and said that Santos will continue to serve unless something triggers his removal. Tesla announced a huge fourth-quarter profit increase on Wednesday, up 59% over the previous year. The Austin, Texas maker of electric vehicles and solar panels earned $3.69 billion, way above analysts' estimates. CEO Elon Musk explained that the, despite the price cuts on some of the company's vehicles, demand for Tesla products is stronger than ever and only production is holding the level of sales back. An asteroid the size of a delivery truck will whip past Earth on Thursday night, one of the closest encounters ever recorded. But NASA says the near-miss has no chance of hitting the Earth, although it will come within 2,200 miles above the southern tip of South America. And finally, Democrat Congressman Jake Ochenplas read a speech on the House floor on Wednesday that the online intelligent, artificial intelligence chatbot ChatGPT had written in favor of creation of a U.S.-Israel intelligence center. His staff claim it's the first time anyone ever read an AI-written speech in Congress. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.